Hi, I'm Miss Donna and I'm the Education Coordinator here at SAM. I'm here to share with you some fun holiday creative ideas. I love making things at Christmas time when I'm doing them, it makes me think of the people I'm making them for, and then it shares joy to the people that I give them to. So we're gonna do a couple of different little projects. One is a traditional greeting card, and the other I like to call wishing flags. So we're gonna learn how to do both of these. For our projects, we're going to need a few supplies. A lot of these you will have on hand. We're going to use scissors, rulers, uh, ribbons, and a few of the other supplies we have are available in this art pack that you can get next door at the Steamboat Art Museum store. It's got all kinds of great things in it. It's got watercolors, gel pens, markers, and a pad. And if you want to pick up one of these, if you don't have your supplies at home, just mention my name and they will give you 20% off. They are open Tuesday through Saturday, 11 through 5. So the first thing we're going to do is make a greeting card. I've already started it. I went ahead and took a piece of this paper and sketched my design out with a pencil. And what we're gonna do next is pull out our watercolors, which are supplied in the kit, and just paint over your design. I'm doing a poinsettia, which is a holiday flower, one of my favorites. fill in the lines. All the watercolors are fun. You can add more water to make them run a little bit. You can get too much water and they'll run into each other, but that's kind of the fun. I already started with the leaves earlier. So I'm going to paint a few more of these and then we'll move on to the other cards while this dries. Watercolors are nice. They don't, uh, you can wash them out of your clothes. And they run, which is really fun. We'll do some of that in a minute. So while this is drying, I'm going to show you some ideas for these wishing flags. You can make them any size you want. I like to make mine all the same size and I'm going to tear a piece of paper out of the pack that's included in our handy dandy kit here. And I've already done a couple of the letters. So I'm just going to fold this in half. And I'm going to be making a flag that says joy. You don't have to necessarily, these can be for any occasion. As with the greeting cards, you can do birthday cards, anniversaries, you know, any holiday any special occasion. Your mom probably has some pinking shears at home, which is what I'm using to cut this with, to give these fun edges, which adds a little bit of a extra intrigue to the design. So I've already got an O and a Y. So I'm gonna take a pencil and just lightly make a J. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to stripe it like a candy cane. Continue with the stripes on the candy cane and then we'll put it aside to dry while we work on a couple of the others that I started earlier. Okay. That can be set aside to dry. And I'm going to work 
on my Y, which I'm going to make a holiday plaid. And because it's already dry, I can go ahead and start using some of my colored pens. So I think I'm going to just start right down the middle to make the plaid. Maybe even outlining it a little bit. You can have fun with this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Use a little more red to be traditional. Let's see. Maybe put the little red lines like next to the green one. And you can spell out Merry Christmas, Happy Birthday, somebody's name. You can do whatever you really want to do with these. Since we're doing holidays. leave the Y for right now. Go on to the O. I love polka dots. So I kind of made this like a, these are little gel pens that are in the pack. I'm just going to outline these just to make them fun and show up more. I'm using purple because it's my favorite color. These are cool little pens, They're kind of iridescent. When I'm doing watercolors, I like to work on more than one piece at a time. So while one piece is dry, and I can go back and work on something else. I'm going to let that set. And my point set is dry. So I'm going to go back and work on that a little bit. I'm going to make these other leaves a little darker. And for ideas for your uh, cards or your flags, I usually say old Christmas cards or old greeting cards to get ideas from. You can of course Google something and see what kind of images they have or you can use your imagination. Be sure to flip your card around so you don't drag your hand through. While waiting for my watercolors to dry, I can look and see on here that there's a lot of areas that are kind of heavy. So you can just take like a paper towel. Can you see me blotting these up just where it was pooling? Use a paper towel or a piece of toilet paper and that'll help it dry easier. And while that's drying more, I'm going to go back to my why on joy and I'm going to outline it so that it stands out more. And I'm going to do the same with the O. We're going to stick with the same color for consistency. got a Sharpie metallic silver pen. I'm just going to add some little dots in there, a little sparkle. Like I said, I like polka dots too. Alright, let's see. Our poinsettia isn't quite dry yet, but like I said earlier, one of the cool things about watercolor is they run. So I'm going to mix a little purple with my red and add some detail on the edges. Make it stand out a little bit from the inner leaves.
Here we get some running going. A little veining. This one's probably not going to run so much because it's already drying, but that's another cool thing about watercolors. You add more water to them, they reconstitute. Another fun thing, I went ahead and trimmed the edge of this card. I'm going to see if I can't just add a little color along the edges so that when it's closed, this little edging shows. That was pretty easy too, and it's gonna look really cool when it's finished. Now we'll go back to our J for joy. This is gonna be a candy cane, so I'm gonna add a bunch of stripes to it. I'm gonna outline this guy too. Trying to be careful because I bet some of it's still wet. So now I've got J O Y. Um, and what we can do is take hole punches a hole in each corner, kind of at the same height. So you can just, this will work good. Just string it on the ribbon. I've got Christmas ribbon, and embroidery yarn, all kinds of fun stuff your uh, gift wrapping supplies. Let's see. I want all that string to show, so I'm going to bring it from the back so they're all the same. And I've got a little box here of beads. You can, you can use buttons for the end, or if I can get, oh, I know what, these big silver ones. So they will go through here easily. I'll tie a knot. Give you something to hang this way. I'm just gonna give myself some more room. Yes. Sure you find beads or buttons that are, have a big enough opening so that you can run that through that. So you've got your little wishing flag. Like I said, you can do this, it can be your birthday or your name, it doesn't have to be Christmas. So there's this guy. And what I did with my sample here, I've got this on the front, 
Well, if you're going to hang it over a doorway where you can see the back, I also made some little snowflakes on the back so that you can see it from either side. Okay, we're going back to our card. And I'm using some of the markers again just to embellish this, make some of the leaves turn out and stand out more. Then on the opposite side, you can go ahead and write your message. So there you go. And these, what's cool about this card, I made this little lip. You can, I'm not going to fold it over, it's still wet. You can fold it over like this and put a little stamp. So you can give it to somebody without, it's like a little, you could probably even mail it. So that's it. Merry Christmas. Have fun.